Hi, my name is Margaret Ann, and I'm a PM at StatSig, and today I'm going to give you a quick overview of the StatSig console. When you first log into your StatSig console, the first tab you land on is the Home tab, which provides you an overview of everything happening in your project, whether it's new features that are launching, experiments that are starting to go live, or how your business metrics are trending week over week. The feed also provides an easy way to keep tabs on big things like experiments reaching target duration, new launches that are rolling out to 100%, or even things that have an issue within your console, such as health checks that might be failing. When you go to the Feature Gates tab, you'll see a list of all the features that your company is rolling out. And you'll notice that these don't necessarily just need to be user-facing features, but could also include backend and infrastructure rollouts. A Feature Gate controls who gets to see a feature and who doesn't. And we do this via a set of conditional logic. You can configure conditions based on environmental attributes, such as browser or country, or even user level attributes, like email, or whether a user passes a targeting gate or is in a certain segment or not. As you start to roll out your product, Statsig automatically detects that you're starting to roll out and will turn it into an A-B test. This is pretty nifty because it enables you to automatically see the impact of your new feature rollout on all of your core business metrics. All these metrics are pre-computed, which means that impact is easy to understand in real time and you can explore by double clicking a little bit on different metric results sliced by things like country, OS, or other customer attributes. Now, if you want to run a user or device level ABN experiment, you would want to harness the full power of Statsig's experimentation product. With Statsig's experimentation product, you can configure a full-blown multivariate test with a defined hypothesis as well as primary and secondary metrics. When you configure your experiment, you can set up as many variants as you want, enabling you to test the full suite of options and make the right product decision. In addition to being able to run more complex multivariate tests, Statsig also offers a variety of more powerful statistical analyses, such as sequential testing, which enables your team to make responsible earlier product decisions, as well as things like Cupid, which corrects for pre-experimental bias. Statsig's metrics tab provides you visibility into the events and the corresponding computed metrics that form the foundation of your experiment and feature rollout lifts. You can get your events into Statsig in a variety of ways, including via our SDKs or using one of our connections to data aggregators such as Segment and Heap. You can also import pre-computed metrics directly into Statsig using our integrations with many very popular data warehouses. Finally, you can combine events and metrics into new custom metrics in Statsig to better encapsulate what you're trying to measure and track over time. This is only a subset of everything that the Statsig console can do, and we're continuously building to improve the product and expand the scope of what you can do with Statsig. Thanks for joining me today, and we hope to see you in the console soon.